Are you sick of missing shots with the wingman? Are you sick of dying constantly in those close 1 vs 1 fights when you're using the wingman? Getting flamed by your teammates or having shitty aim with the gun? Want an easy win so you can show off to your friends how many kills you got, how much damage you have? Then you clicked on the right video because hopefully by the end of this video you're gonna be landing all of those flex shots that you missed before that will make you hard or soaking wet. <coughs> Anyways, uh, let's get into how to use this doodoo gun before it gets nerfed next patch. Hopefully not. So before we get into the techniques, you should go over the weapon stats. So the wingman at any range does 45 damage to the body and 90 damage headshots against enemies without helmets. Before we cover when helmets are involved, something to consider is that it deals reduced damage to the legs, which I did not know, but sure I guess. So you deal 40.5 damage to the, to the leg to be exact when using the wingman. Don't ask me, I just found this in the wiki. It shows 41 damage in game, but it's actually 40.5, which is <clears throat> weird. Now, when it comes to helmets, I did the math for you guys, so here are the stats on the screen. With a level hel or level 1 helmet doing 81 damage, with a level 1 and level 2 you deal 72, Level 3, you deal 67.5 or 68. As for attachments, you initially have 6 bullets, and with a level 3 mag, you gain 12, and so on. Level 1, level 2 does not matter much. As for skull piercing, it didn't get nerfed for, to 2.25 and from 2.5, but it's not really a big nerf in general. You deal 101 damage with a hot one. As for optics, you go with your own desired optics with. It does not matter that much actually, I prefer the dot crosshair because it helps me aim a bit more, you may prefer something else. With all the small stuff out of the way, let's get into the techniques of how to use this gun better. So let's get into the techniques of how to use this gun properly. I will not be scripting this in any way because I want to talk to you guys and how to use it without having the issues of having to write a script and reading through it as I show all of this. So, as a normal person would win the, use the wingman, it's gonna be this, 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 as usual, nothing fancy, just trying to make fun to people. With that out of the way, the other thing you can try is to <clears throat> hip fire. Hip firing is very controversial in a lot of ways because it involves a lot of RNG, but there is a case where you can actually use the wingman to hip fire as your first shot is perfectly accurate when you hit fire, as you can see here. Perfectly accurate, going to the center of my screen. So if I aim at the bloodhound head, it's gonna hit the head perfectly because it's going through the middle of my crosshair. That is extremely powerful and it can be abused heavily. So, what do you think I mean by the abuse? So, a hit fire, crouch, 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 pulling my crosshair back in immediately. So, after I shoot, I crouch, and my crosshair comes in immediately. So, instead of spamming, I can tap fire like this. So, one, two, one, two. Instead of having to aim down my sights. Aiming down sights is, of course, recommended, always. But let's say you're one of those close range fights and you can't seem to land a shot when you're aiming down sights. Then you can immediately do something like this. So, is a lot better than having to force yourself to aim down sight constantly missing all the shots that you could have hit as hip firing is a lot more beneficial and easier. And it's a very important technique to do when you're ever or whenever you're using the wing one. So as you can see. So fire, crouch, fire, crouch. This will actually make sure that you land all of your shots. As you can see, the wingman is so inaccurate when you. Let's now come to the next part on how to use this gun when aiming down sights. Aiming down sights is how you're going to be using this gun mostly, and the fire technique is nice for when you're in those close mid range fights where you're having trouble to hit those normal shots with your scope. So, when, like, when do you actually switch from ADS to hit fire? Let's say. Well. It's up to you, you need to make the golden rule. Like my golden rule is that maybe I miss like two shots, right? I'll go immediately to switch hit fire and use this. If I see that I can land two shots and, and if the enemy is running away, 
then I will switch from here and then I'll start shooting normally with my aim down sights. Now, the thing is that you will miss. We are all human, even proud misses, even dizzy misses. Everyone misses, but they always come back from their misses in one way. So you need to set yourself a golden rule. Whenever you are using the wingman, if you see that you're missing way too many shots, take some time and aim at the target. So before my friend came in and rudely interrupted, as I was saying your movement when using the gun matters a lot, so make sure you strafe aim, which means using your movement to aim instead of your mouse only. Strafing is what makes the wingman such a deadly gun, and a person who strafes well and hits all his shots can destroy anyone in any lobby, it's just about who has the skill more refined in comparison. As for when it comes to the bullet drop, this gun has almost no bullet drop as I can notice and bullet travel time is significantly quick, so not much to be compensated for. If you're wondering why my voice sounds like I'm laughing, it's because um, <laughs> I read that like 40 times because I couldn't pronounce compensated and I was saying compared instead. Some extra features I would like to talk about as well as that my brain doesn't work like it should, I mean, as well as that this gun has movement inaccuracy when moving of course, but if you slide and shoot the gun while hip firing you gain the advantage of the first shot accuracy, making you a harder target to hit, as well as giving you the advantage of speed and field of view when hip firing. And with that said, that covers the important aspects and techniques of the wingman, and I hope this helps you in your future en endeavors. Please go click the like button and sub for more future content and sorry for the long break in the middle. My brother, not my brother actually, it's Aggressive's brother, he had the wedding so yeah there's a lot of noise right now in his house and he made me read this so yeah F my FML you know. It was at this moment he knew. He fucked up. <laughs> 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 Oh my god, what? Nick, man, 